All right, today we're going to be tying the poly caddis. These are the materials you'll need. You'll need your poly yarn. It might look a little different than that, but it's the poly yarn. You need your uh, dubbing material. You need a DF1 size 14 hook. And then we need the olive thread. Once you get that material, let's get the barb mashed again and the hook secure in your vise. Just like that. And once it's done, then we can proceed to wrap on. So tie on your thread, three or four to the right, and then we're going to run the thread all the way to back just before the bend of the hook, and we're going to cut the tag end off. It's a pretty easy fly. Grab your uh, dubbing now. Make yourself a pretty even noodle through a, a couple inches long. We're going to wrap that noodle all the way down the whole length of the hook. So you want it uniform when you get it, wrap the thread back to just above the bend, just before it starts to bend. And then move forward down the shank to just about an eye length behind. Right there. Clean it up if you need to. Which of these fish has the most teeth? The killer whale, the beluga whale, the blue whale, or Nemo? Pause now until you decide together on an answer. The correct answer was Nemo, since he was the only fish in the list. The others were whales. Take your poly yarn. You're going to cut two card lengths of this. Like that. And sometimes when it wraps around the card, it does get a little bend in it. So work that out if you can. It's not that important to do that, but, you know, if it makes it a little easier to work with. So fold it and bend it, mash it around a little bit. Just do your best to get it as straight as you can. Again, it's not that important if it's not perfectly straight. Fold it in half and take the fold, the bend part, and place it over the eye of the hook. Pinch it, come over the top. You take a couple wraps, then readjust it to make sure it's right on top. Hold on to it again. You're going to wrap five or six times. Adjust it. Wrap till you get it right where you want it, nice and secure. There you go. Now you're going to wrap in the front. You want to build a little dam in front of the uh, poly so it sticks up a little bit. And that's pretty much all we need to do. All right, pause here and talk about the question you decided on. Remember to be attentive as you listen and honest as you answer. Take your time and then continue when you're finished. Other than use our whip finish tool, our instrument of torture, to do three or four turn finish in front of the poly just above the eye. If you can get there, it's kind of tricky. Missed it the first time. There we go. Work it around. Try not to capture any of the poly in your whip. There you go. Okay, now come in and clip it off. All right, now you're going to take your scissors and you're going to come in and you're going to cut from the front. You're going to cut a 45 degree angle up, roughly 45 degree. Trim it up and then you're going to take the scissors and you're going to trim down at a 45 degree angle on the back to create your wings. There you go. Now tease that out a little bit. That's pretty much it. You're going to clean it up. There you go. You can come in with some head cement. You want to put those on the wraps between the head and the tail. If you can get it in there. Put a little bit more in there. And that's pretty much it. We're done. That's the polycatus. Thanks for watching.